And Nancy Golubisky will give you a short show to, have, to give you a bit of a visual memory of land science for the way back home. So I have the opportunity just to talk to you about the data visualization, which I think um, nicely um, follows on a lot of the comments that have just been said. And just to let you know, none of the, um, all of the images were contributed through the data visualization challenge. So thanks to those of you who made contributions. Um, and this is your viewer warning to inspire you and send you off on your way. We'll um, just let you have a few thoughts about art and poetry in order to draw on humanities when in the Global Land Project. Um, the idea behind the GLP's data visualization challenge was to engage all of you in telling your stories of land system science in an evocative way that can reach a variety of audiences. As we already know, uh, and as can be seen from all of the great work that's been presented this week, the um, stories are complex and data rich and often visually stunning. They are interesting and even urgent. So thanks to those of you who did make the effort to and take the time to enter the challenge. Hopefully some of you have had the opportunity to view the games that were submitted. And if you haven't yet, it's the per perfect procrastination option when you get back home. We encourage you to continue to tell your stories through data visualization to be sure, through the ever increasing platforms and opportunities that exist. To be honest, one of the um, ideas behind the visualization contest was seeing all of the other visualization contests that have been arising through time, one of which is Science Magazines, which happens annually. And invariably, there is an amazing, stunning cover, front cover photo of a microbe, an amoeba, or a plant cell at the end of that visualization contents. And the idea being that this community has so many amazing stories to tell, but we don't seem to be very good in engaging in those type of activities. So the challenge is for you all to get your stories out there. More broadly, we wish you well and continue your research and look forward to coming together again. There is something about studying Earth and humanity's relationships with it to investigate land use and land cover change in order to understand the Earth as transformed by human action. It is not only of academic interest and intellectual curiosity, it stirs something within. Quite literally, we are seeking to understand our place in the world. So the visceral effects of landscape transformation have moted many, if not all of you, in this room. Whether it was a sense of loss as you see landscapes transform or be transformed through deforestation or urban sprawl, a sense of concern for communities as life lifestyles change with profound shifts in natural resource accessibility and availability, or even a sense of joy found through connection with place. And it may have been what started your choice of study or helped motivate you to take a certain job or find a research program, and for others it is ongoing inspiration, somewhat akin to Wendell Berry's um, Piece of Wild Things. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the day blind stars waiting for their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. And I'll just make a tangential note that I think the poets of the world may be working the land a lot more than we do, and it would be great if we engage with humanities more. So I'll leave you with this proposition that perhaps land system science is among the most compelling and evocative of environmental sciences in pursuit of ex assessing the current and future prospects to grow food, find shelter, and pursue meaningful lives, and understand our surroundings at local, regional, and global scales. We are grappling with the local realities of global environmental change. It is at the heart of our human experience. No one is left untouched by images of this blue planet, stunning natural landscapes, or human feats of ingenuity upon the land. There is an innate passion infusing the work of land system science, and that, I think, is also, we have a problem-oriented research platform, but also we have passion. So as you return to your own pieces of this earth, to your families, your communities, and places of work, best wishes with your continued efforts to investigate our relationship with the land we occupy and the prospects for all our futures. Keep your inspiration and your passion.